Hi, welcome back to another video. In the previous video, I show you how we can run the ocean command in the command window. In this video, we will continue how to write an ocean script based on all of the commands that we have checked in the command window. So we just need to go back to the ocean script that we saved earlier. Of course, I I deleted something and then I control Z to undo my deletion however now I will really delete them and to to focus on what are the important commands that we need to pay attention in this case so the one that I delete means they are not necessary in our case yet and uh, for the modify it's not necessary either those are only by default because we extract this ocean script from the mesh file so whatever setup in that mesh file will show the setup here and they are, might not be necessary in our case for our simple simulation so now we will delete all of them and uh, if you find some tutorial you can even see that simply the first thing we need to do as we demonstrated in this commands window was that First, we need to choose the simulator in here, and then we need to specify which schematic we want to run the simulation on. And this is like the directory to the schematic that we, run, we want to run on. And the next thing was that we need to specialize the analysis that we want to run, which is the DC analysis. We have no uh, uh, small signal analysis here, and it's all about direct current or the direct the DC analysis only and next was like we need to set our design variable in our case we will only use one value for the input first it's just like you can copy paste from here into here into here uh, this is for the setup and after we set up our simulation, we just need to put the run command. And after the run command, it means we will have the results. And because we have the results, so we need to select and print them out. Uh, actually, the uh, output and the output parameters only for demonstrate what components and what kind of parameters of that component we want to print out after we already determined them in the script we don't need to put them here you can put them but it's not that necessary so we the very first uh, next command important is the select result we need to select the result of which analysis that we want to get so the analysis that we want to get is the DC operating point because we run that analysis so we need to get the result of that analysis and after we set that we need to get the result from that analysis we can print out our results and to print out the results when I say print F print out the results mean you can see there are some messages been printed on the command interface window so this print F will have the if you know about programming C language it will have the same format as we want to print something on the screen and with this printf it will print the message on this screen of the command window and we want to print let's say input voltage uh, because if you when you look back here you can see that it's 1.0 even though it's 1 but the form of the other type of the result that we print on here is the flow time so we need to use percentage F to print the float number uh, so you can see that the the way that we type in the command to print something out on the screen is really familiar as we print it in the um, C programming language this might be a little bit different but it's just simply it you can check I think we can check the type of our um, result let's say type and then we control you can see that the type here is the float number yes that's why we use this percentage F uh, how could I know sorry how could I know about the uh, type here 
is to print out the type of this command we could search in the ocean reference or we could search in the scale reference so to work with this script we need to have two references one reference for ocean and one reference for scale because as I introduced in the previous video ocean is a programming a very specific language that cadence builds on top of the scale language so whatever we can use in scale we can also use in we can use them again in ocean script and this is the input voltage and we want to print out our output voltage output voltage is the net 3 yes output voltage is the net 3 in order to determine what is the input the output Please refer to my previous video where I show you where we could open our netlist file related to our schematic here. So based on this netlist, we can easily determine what is the input and what is the output net. And uh, here is just print out the screen thing. Now let me make it easier to recognize on the screen. We can. Uh, have something like wait the beginning of the of this section so the beginning of this section will be results for example and the end of printing printing this section will be the end we will put the end here so it's pretty easy to recognize where is the message that we print on the screen now we just need to control s we save everything now we will go back here and instead of running commands line by line we can uh, just load our load this script right okay this script is saved in here how could I know where I saved my script please refer to my previous video I put that link the very first video I put that link in this video description please check it out and you can see this is my ocean script and I just need to copy this name to avoid some typo when I run the command in the command window let's put it here and we run now you can see that the simulation runs but it seems I make a mistake incompatible with this I'm thinking why why is it incompatible? 